हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मिरर ऑफ साइकोलॉजी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फॉर मोर साइकोलॉजी रिलेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्पेयरमैन टू फैक्टर थियरी ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस When people are asked to define intelligence you get all sorts of answers some say it's being good at academics others might think it's about having artistic abilities and some might believe it's the ability to solve daily problems effectively so different people have different views on what intelligence is psychologists also have varied opinion on this but now there is a general agreement that intelligence is the ability to learn make judgments and solve problems Various theories were proposed by psychologists to understand intelligence and one of such popular theory is Spearman's two factor theory. This theory was introduced by Charles Spearman, a British psychologist in the early 20th century. He believed that intelligence has two main components, the general intelligence G factor and specific abilities called as S factors. First let's talk about the general intelligence or G factor. Spearman thought that this G factor is like the foundation of all our mental abilities. It's the basic factor that is required to perform various cognitive tasks whether we are solving math problems, reading a book or playing chess. If someone has high G factor, they are likely to be good at many different things. This general intelligence helps them in various areas. The G factor is present by birth and stays relatively stable over time. The G factor is what most intelligence tests aim to measure. Now let's talk about the S factors. Each cognitive task requires some specific ability in addition to the general intelligence factor. These specific abilities are nothing but S factor. Think of the S factors as individual skills or talents. Everyone has a unique set of these specific abilities and they can be strong in some areas and not as strong in others. For example, Someone might be really good at solving math problems but not as good at remembering names that's because they have a high s factor in maths but maybe a lower s factor in memory related tasks examples of individuals who possesses high s factors can be artists musicians sports persons and so on s factor can be learned from the environment through practice So Spearman's two factor theory says that our overall intelligence is a combination of general intelligence G factor and our specific abilities S factors both work together to help us learn and solve problems in everyday life Imagine a set of circles representing different cognitive tasks like verbal mechanical numerical and spatial each circle overlaps with a central circle representing G The overlapping area shows the influence of general intelligence while the non-overlapping areas represent specific abilities required for each task. Spearman also introduced the concept of the tetrad difference. This tetrad difference helps us understand relationships between multiple tests. Let's say we have four tests, test A, B, C and D. We can calculate the correlations between each pair of these tests resulting in six correlations. from these correlations we can form pairs of products of correlations a tetrad is the difference between two such pairs if the four variables share a common underlying factor the tetrad difference should be zero or close to zero this is because the common factor would equally influence the correlations between the variables making the products of the correlations familiar however if the tetrad differences are not close to zero it suggests that the variable may not share a common underlying factor so this is how spearman found the general intelligence factor g by analyzing the scores of children on various intelligence tests if you found this video helpful then please like it and subscribe my channel thank you for watching the video